I'm getting ready to make my shirt for our annual convention and I want it to look like my brand colors, right? And my brand colors is ombre, a few colors. And I just learned how to create gradient text within Canva. So at the time of this recording, there's really no way within Canva to do this like at a click of a button. So I'm gonna show you how to do it another way. So I'm gonna go up to the top right, I'm gonna click on create design and because it's gonna be on a shirt, I want it to be kind of like the size of a paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose custom size and we're gonna do inches and then 8.5 by 11. Perfect. So the second thing you wanna do is you wanna choose what colors you want to be in your text. So we can come up to elements and we can search for you know, gradient and we can choose something like this right and then we can make it bigger or we can do it like this way you just have to choose what your colors are going to be the best way to do this is going to be to search for gradient or you could even do a transparent gradient which i've used before and so that way you can choose multiple colors but for this i'm going to choose my personal brand image that i use so i'm going to head to my selfies and i'm going to click here we're going to make this fit perfect so next up, we need to add some text. So we can either click on the text option over here or we can literally just hit T on the keyboard to bring up the text option. And I'm gonna go ahead and type in the name that I want on the shirt. I'm gonna go ahead and change the font. I'm gonna make it all caps. And then the key to this is the font has to be white. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it in like that. We're going to change the line spacing so it's super close together. Now, I'm gonna make it big, but not that big. So I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger and where you put this font or this text box, really think about where it is within the colors because wherever it is, that is what the color is going to be of your gradient. So like right now, down here at the bottom, I have more pinks, oranges, and yellows, but if I want it, maybe more blues, purples, and pinks, I'd want it at the top. So for this, what we need to do is we're gonna lower the transparency. I'm just gonna lower it just a little bit right there, it looks good. Now, that's it for this first part. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna download this one. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. So if you're on the pro version, you can do that, but I'm gonna go ahead and click download. Then I'm gonna come over here to upload so it doesn't upload into my selfie folder. Then we'll upload this. I'm gonna add a new page underneath. We're gonna bring this in. Go ahead and fill the screen with it. Now, we're gonna click on edit image. So I'm gonna click on edit image. We're gonna remove the background. Now, sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. It really just depends. But if it doesn't, we can also use the erase button. Ta-da, look at that. Okay, so you might be thinking, well, that doesn't look anything like what the gradient is supposed to look like. But here's the deal. So we can say yes, background is good to go, but now we can play with the adjustments. I'm gonna go ahead and choose see all. So from here, we can play with all of these settings. So what I have found is to bring down the brightness, we're gonna bring up the contrast, and then we're gonna bring up the saturation. See, so we can play with this as much as we want to kind of get it back to looking like what this is up here. And so once you get it looking how you want it to look, I can click this, I can copy it, and then I can paste it onto like what I'm gonna be printing out for my shirt if there's other things involved. But it really is as simple as that. But let's say that something happens and it just, it doesn't work how you want it to. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it in. Let's edit and then remove background again. Now, like I mentioned before, there may be some pieces where the background is still there. All you have to do is click on the erase button and then you can come in, you can even change the brush size, make it super, super small. And then you can erase if there is something still left behind. And then even sometimes once you click done, if you click apply and then remove background again, sometimes that helps kind of clean up that background a bit but it's as simple as that if you have any questions about creating your own gradient text within canva please let me know and i'll see you next time